So when you first saw the video, mm -hmm. how did you make, how did it make you feel? Like what was your first initial thoughts? Oh man. Honestly, dude, I feel like I've I've been desensitized. Like mm. I'm so used to. I mean, literally I saw a video a month before where where a young man was on Facebook live and died, you know? So I'm so used to seeing people that look like me die. I'm just I don't really even even I, I honestly don't have feelings. I'm 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 mm. more angry. You know, and then I think after the fact, when I find out, like when you, when you, when you always, when you find out about people outside of the event of like their, their, their demise, you know, you find out like what they're into here, they're married to. And like, man, it's just sad. Like, man, like, you know, this person was like in their forties. You know, I think about people like my dad who's in his sixties. He's done so much within the last 20 years, like raise me, you know, I mean, and been a big, big part of my life, like in a positive way. And uh, you know, people like George Floyd don't get to do that. And it's, that's, what's really sad for me. Like, and it's just, you know, it's just really it, sickening, you know, either way it's, it's the loss of human life. Right. At the and, end of the day, and that's in that, that way, in the most, yeah, in, in the, the worst, worst way possible, worst way. Right. It's he, here's the thing. And I'm just throwing it out there. There the bystanders. We can hear them in the video. They're mm -hmm. like, dude, get a, get off his neck, bro. Mm hmm. I'm not saying he should have because obviously he would have been arrested, but part of me is like, damn, he got to a point. It was so serious. Like the dude was unconscious. I mean, you should have right. pushed the cop off. Right. It's in the, do, that, do, you, do you get what I'm saying? No, I do. Because I think hard. about it. dude. Think, I, I know that. That's yeah. why I'm saying, that's why I said, I, I understand why he didn't do it, but his, the, I forgot the, the guy's name. They interviewed him, I think, but his tone was like, he basically said, get off his neck, bro. Get off his neck. It was the same tone for probably the entire time. Yeah. But he, it would have been nice if he said, get off his fucking neck, bro. You know what I mean? What the f*** you doing? Like, you sometimes you got to, people say, you know, sometimes you got to show your, 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 you, you have to show it in volume. That's yeah. not the answer to everything, but in situations like that, you, do you get what I'm saying? What were you going to say, Justin? It's, it's hard to say because then that person, you know, there's an element of fearing for their own life. Yes. If they get, if they get involved. Yes, they could, but. They could have been in the same exact situation or, or. You know. Yeah, I'm not saying he should have done that, yeah. but inside, it's just one but of those get, thoughts in my you head. You want to say, like, if I was in that situation, I would have done something. I would have went over there, Scream. pushed him out of the way, I would have done something. Call other cops, somebody. Right. There's, you there's, know? It's, and I think, you know, just what jo Justo said, right? I think Justo feels that way. I feel like if Justo did it, he he might have gone to jail that night, but he probably knows that he have, wouldn't have died. I wouldn't have died. Right. Like, Justo knows, like, at, 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 he's 90, like, 8% sure that he's probably not gonna die right mm. but the people that were in there in that in that group it sounds like they were all black and they know they know the force field like man right. if i do this right. i can go to jail and it's not just like okay i can die it's like if i go to jail will i make bail a lot of people a lot of black the reason why black people are it's so high um they they are convicted so much they can't post bail they can't afford a good attorney they can't cut so they have to wind up cutting the deal yeah. and going to jail longer so they have to think about all this and yeah. that's why i talk about it goes to policies and that's why you know i i advocate you know for for reparations which is you know uh you know it's a financial what you, economic what do you see that being in real life do you see it as a little a check in the mail do you see it as as simply just like you said specific policies like i think it's all being? it all goes in the same package i feel that you know um in this country you know native americans have received reparations they're still receiving they get free health care they get uh college tuition mm -hmm. um and they get certain land Japanese receive uh, reparations. It's Did that they? one was more, yeah, from the uh, inter for the internment camps. Mm. They receive reparations twice. So um, I like the idea of it being like you know school being paid for and like these oh of course different, different things. Being I think it, it can't just be a check because yeah. because you don't know how they're gonna use it. You know how to use it. And at the same time though, like because it's owed. Because like you have to understand like when slavery was 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 uh was en when when it ended. You know, Lincoln's intention was 40 acres and a mule, you know, land, you know, mule where they're able to actually get money. When Lincoln was killed and then uh, uh, President Andrew Johnson came in, he screwed all that up. And then they made laws against black people to prevent them from making money. So here we are in 2020, black people who were here for 400 years, built the country off free labor. Somehow we're just on the bottom, the the homeless statistic is crazy when it comes to black people. So 
this is a debt owed, right? So um, just back to your point about like, it's, we have to have, because black people don't have any money, if we were just given money, there would be institutions, predatory institutions that will that will attack that will exactly capitalize off of that money made. 100%. We need to have institutions to like money's gonna come in, give in to these people. But there's institutions where let's say they give the they they have money in the institution that's protecting it and also laws to protect them from, you know, as well as opportunity. Opportunities exactly. to, to grow and to learn and to work. All and to that be educated, all exact, of that. all that. I think all that it needs to. It's a rehabilitation. Like, uh, you know, Malcolm X said, "America stabbed the black community nine inches, uh, nine inches in." Slavery ended. They pulled the knife six inches out, and they go mm -hmm. back and forth every mm -hmm. time they kill us. Mm -hmm. What needs to happen is they need to pull the knife out Entirely, completely yeah, right. and attend to the wound that they made. So that's what the U.S. and this is a conversation like between that, black people. In the U.S. government, I I don't want people to think that somehow this is about black people versus white people. It's really not. Like race is a social construct at the end of the day. But in this country, we made there a hierarchy where, hey, based on your skin color, you're less than him, and I'm making laws on why that is. We have to create laws to, to, to flip that to, to counteract to, it to, exactly to so it. there was laws yeah. that were specifically down to put black people down there needs to be laws that put black people up and able to maintain because bro it's it's deep man like by 2050 like black america will not be able to uh, keep up with the inflation of america every year america gets it's about two and a half for three right and like i told you generational wealth there's yeah. generational wealth that passed down that's passed down for most people uh you know at least People have been here for a long time in America. So, I mean, that's, I don't know how long I just talked, but that's, no, no, this is that's the I, underlying. Beautifully, beautifully spoken. By thank the way. you. Thank you, bro. I so that's that. the underlying thing. And I, it goes, reparations goes into policies where they protect black people. They make laws like, like that law in New York, but more aggressive where if a cop kills, if you get killed by a cop unarmed, blank, 25 years, because years, of life, the historic whatever. Because yeah. of everything's happened historically, I understand that. And then, and then, let's say, let's give an example. Amy Cooper, Amy Cooper, the girl who called on that black yeah, bird watcher, right? Mm -hmm. There was a story about Emmett Till. Emmett Till was massacred because he was a a white girl said uh, a white lady who's actually still alive right now. Uh, she um, accused him of rape, or she wound up. He like he like. He like winked at her or something at a store. She told the people and they went and lynched him. Right. Mm. So Amy Cooper in 2020, she still has that mentality, same mentality, that lady that got Emmett Till killed, where I'm going to tell them this black man did this to me and they're going to go handle that. And so that was her idea about the police, because she knows from from American history that the chances of a policeman going and killing this black man is is very high. So that's why she said what she said. And this is a so we have to create laws to stand man respect for black people. And society will adjust. They will respect black people. I feel like we have a society. We have a lot of people, all groups. We will who adapt. Don't, we I will adapt. You, we, I think that built, we don't but. we don't respect black people, black life because. Our very, our very United States government never did, never atoned to it. So how would we expect the common people of the land to sense. do the same? You know. Yeah, so. no, that that makes sense. I, uh, I concur, which means I agree. <laughs> <laughs>